Hey everyone, in today's hug, we're going to talk about the law of correspondence. So universal law number three is called the law of correspondence. And this is one that says, as above, so below. So it suggests this mirror-like relationship between what is happening in the universe and what is happening in our own experience as individuals. So what does that actually look like? Well, the outer world really does reflect our inner world. And we've heard it said before that sometimes we project on people what we don't like about ourselves, right? So something might bug you about another individual that is actually going on inside of you. Like I started studying health because I wanted to make myself healthier. And I find that that often happens, that we have an experience with ourselves that we learn and grow from that we want to help others with. So this law of correspondence, actually, it implies that the universe, in its limitless expanse, it mirrors the complexities and intricacies of the individual human experience, which seems like a mouthful, right? So what it tells us is to live in harmony by cultivating our internal thoughts, feelings, and beliefs and know that these influence our physical experience, okay? I also like to look at it as like this integrity example that your private life and your public life are the same, okay? So it's like as above, so below, as on the inside, so on the outside, as on your private side, so on your public side, right? There's this integration that plays out And so we want to work on ourselves in all ways. So how do we do this? Perhaps it's finding tranquility and inner peace. It doesn't matter what's going on around you, the craziness of life, but you always have that peace within. And that is something that Key teaches all the time. I read a great quote that says, Ego says, once everything falls into place, I will feel peace. And spirit says, find your peace and then everything will fall into place. And that is just something I love so much because that reminds me of this law of correspondence. Another example is when a leader, say Cynthia, she is constantly demonstrating this compassion and love and joy for our membership. And she teaches all of us, admin team and other members, that this integrity is mirrored. And so we like to emulate her with her beautiful words and her heart, you guys, means every little thing that she says. She's just so, oh, she's just such a lovely lady and she has a great influence on all of us. And another thing is just relationship dynamics. So, you know, when you are a joyful, happy fun individual to be around, then your spouse and your friends and other people in your community, it's like this mirror. They just, it's like a magnet. They just want to be with you because that positivity will influence your relationships. Sorry, I'm so wiggly today. (laughs) And so what do you do about all this? Well, the law of correspondence will remind you that this interconnectedness that we have with others is the power that we can use to build and shape our own reality. You are in control of your reality. Just always remember that your external world reflects your internal world. So start here. Get out of your head and get into your heart because this is where love happens. So when I lead it in meditation, I say inhale love, joy, peace, health, happiness, prosperity, and exhale, stress, doubt, worry, fear, anger, frustration. We just want to bring all this love into our heart space and let go of all that yucky stuff that tends to live in our head space, okay? And just pivot faster. I'm always gonna say that, pivot faster. When you catch yourself on a slippery slope of negativity, just get back on, have a pattern interrupt. It could be something like stop, which is a key principle number one. Just stop and pivot 
and go the way that you want to be. All right. Okay. Let's wrap up this Thursday with a big, fat, juicy hug. Sending you so much love. I really hope you're enjoying this series and applying each of these laws to your daily life. And tomorrow is all about the law of attraction. All right. Bye for now.